So we are going to take a look at how to connect your PHP code with SQLite database. Uh, first thing that you should do is you have to edit your PHP INI so that it can let you create SQLite database on your system. So first thing, you can find instance for SQLite in php.ini and make sure to uncomment this okay as you can see extension video sqlite tll should be uncommented also any other reference specific to sqlite should be uncommented okay and find next again you can see this is also uncommented and then you have to also specify the path here to your ext directory where you have your SQLite DLL, okay? So once you do that, save this PHP INI, then you can start your RAM servers for MySQL. Uh, it's already running, which we don't need, and Apache, which we need for PHP, okay? Next thing, open text editor and create one sample.php file, and here, what we're going to do is we are going to first create our SQLite database file, okay? You can check out whether you have your PHP file accepting. SQLite, okay? So I have a code PHP info to show you whether I have SQLite enabled or not, okay? So in PHP info, you get the details for how many database get the PDO support. So here I have MySQL, ODBC, PG SQL, and SQLite support. So now I can easily run code specific to SQLite with my PHP code, okay? So first thing, we're going to add our entire code in try and catch. So try block and in catch use video exception and then E. Okay, so you can catch that exception with simple echo and then E and point to get message. Okay. Next thing within try block. Make sure to give database access to your new video path that shows SQLite. And here I have to mention the name of database. So let's game video then dot sqlite save your database with that name okay and then just move to your next line where we are going to create a table then insert the data and then display the data now if you run this code nothing will appear only thing that will happen is within htdocs you will find sqlite file okay so let's move to the next part and check db exec and here i'm gonna execute create table query so create table groups here i have id name email okay and i'm going to add data for each so id should be integer okay and primary key the name should be text okay so make sure that you add it with some space and email should be text as well okay uh, finally make sure to have a semicolon okay after you add the table make sure to also add some data in it okay so let's see I'm going to add insert into groups where we have ID, name, email, and values. 
let's see one then Amy then Amy at four dot UK okay and outside that just use that and close properly okay so let's check things properly here single quote then we have double quote right and anything else left okay so now our errors are gone okay now you can repeat this twice or thrice if you want with slight change in data okay so i have this second and third uh, let's see Jim okay and then just slightly modifying the data after that you have to also print this data so use print and then you're going to use table and set the body equals to one now on next line we are going to just have our table was to four and then column and we have our id so td closed and then another td where we have name then another td email okay you can have some space so that they are not too close to each other okay and next thing make sure to close dr of this line as well okay so dr closed tvs are closed as well okay next thing is to have a result okay so we should be fetching with sql query so result is equal to db then exit or you can go for db query okay so here i'm going to use select dot from groups and on next line i'm going to check for each row from result as row okay so i'm going to print dr and T. okay and on next line we are simply going to use row id and then dot and simply closing over that specific row okay repeat this for your name and email okay and also end this with tr okay so we started with tr closing with that okay make sure to remove tr from these two lines so starting tr ending tr all the is properly closed okay and next thing we can also close our table okay that's it so what we have done we first created our sqlite database then we created table inside database with id name and email okay we named our table groups and we are inserting data into it with these values then we are using select query and html tag to output id name email on our HTML page. 
Okay. So basically what will happen, the data that we are sending from SQL database will be rendered into HTML. Okay. So what we can do right now is open browser and this sample.php we have to reload it. And here you see the table that shows ID, name, email, and here are the details that we just added. Now, if I keep on refreshing this page, then it will continue to create the duplicate entries. So next time you refresh this page, make sure that you are adding new details here, like let's say four, five, and six. Also make changes to respective fields. Okay, if you check your directory, here you will find SQL file is also created. So what happens here is you have your database file. Also you have your entries added to database file that we just passed through these queries. Okay, you can pause the video and go through the code and try this on your own. Make sure that, that you have edited your php.ni and using video for SQLite access.